Welcome to Black Alloy. Uh, what you're viewing here is the Black Alloy model 252 uh, drill unit with a 3 inch stroke and a 1 inch uh, stroke dash or feed control. Uh, we happen to be running this motor with a uh, frequency drive and we're running at approximately 4,000 RPM. Uh, what we're going to be testing is a small uh, diameter copper part that the customer requires, uh, and this is the part, and he, dr he requires drilling eight holes radially around the part. And as you can see, there is an angle that, uh, so the, the part needs to be drilled perpendicular to this face. So that's why you can see in the setup we have, we have the uh, vise mounted on an angle. And uh, we're going to be testing this part. And I can show you essentially the, uh, the drilling cycle time. And essentially that's it. We may be even be able to speed that up a little bit more as far as the advance rate. Uh, this is just for testing purposes. And as you can see in this one, uh, you know, the holes are hard to see, but we have got probably, you know, eight, ten holes in this part. And as you can see, they are coming through on the inside. There is a slight, a very slight burr to the inside. Uh, and we may be able to adjust the feed rate and speed a little bit more to see if we can get this reduced even a little bit more. But essentially, uh, that is the drill part. I know it's probably even difficult to see the holes because of the size of the holes that are being drilled. Uh, we actually, what we found worked best for this, let me shut the motor off. What we found that works best with this, we tried uh, standard high speed drill bits. But being the shank of the tool is the 28 thousandths diameter, uh, there is very little support to the drill bit, being it is so small in diameter. What we found works pretty well is we took a, uh, we used a, a, a plunge cutting end mill or center cutting end mill that's 28 thousandths. I think it's a number 70, like a number 70 drill. And the shank is a little bit bigger. So this way it makes a rigid support. And uh, we were pretty successful with this. You still have to be very careful because it doesn't take much to break that point off. Uh, if the part isn't loaded directly, uh, you know, if the, if the drills, if, let's put it this way, if you're trying to drill this hole and you're off center a little bit with the part and that thing has a tendency to try to walk a little bit, you're immediately going to break that tool. Uh, the, the trick is the setup, okay, and I know that the part has to be indexed but hopefully once you get that part centered and the drill aligned, uh, it should be repeatable uh, without any issues. So. I guess if you have any questions, uh, you can give us a call. It's 201-475-9300. Thank you for viewing.